Hey guys, it's Emma here and I have another abominable book club unboxing for you, or should I say I'm bagging. Um, if you don't know about the company, go and check out my last video. This is my second package from them, but basically it's a horror subscription uh, book box. So you can get the uh, Full Guts version, which is everything that's a, a new horror book, a second-hand horror book, and um, there's like a magazine every month as well, and there's like food and, and drink, like packets of tea and coffee and things like that. I just went for the bare bones version, which is why it's not in a box. And that is just the main horror book, the newer one, and the second hand book and the magazine as well. And you sometimes get some like um, bookmarks and things like that in there. So anyway, without further ado, let's have a look in here. I pre-cut the bag. <laughs> so right, I feel the second hand book. They always wrap it up um, amazingly. So this is the second hand one. So we'll get to that one in a minute. Here we go, so I'm assuming this is the, the book, so it is Deity by Matt Wiesolowski. So this looks pretty cool. It's a, a smaller one um, than I was expecting. This is why this came right through the letterbox. I was expecting to be uh, it waiting for me when I got home outside the door, but no. So it says, when pop megastar Zach Crystal dies in a fire at his remote mansion, his mysterious demise rips open the bitter divide between those who adored his music and his endless charity work and those who viewed him as a despicable predator who manipulated and abused young and vulnerable girls. Online journalist Scott King, whose six stories podcasts have become an internet sensation, investigates the accusations of sexual abuse and murder that were levelled at Crystal before he died. But as Scott begins to ask questions or rakes over old graves, some startling inconsistencies emerge. Was the fire at Crystal's remote home really an accident? Was Why was he never officially charged? And are reports of a haunted haunting really true? Dark, chillingly topical and deeply thought-provoking, Deity is both an explosive, spine-chilling thriller and a startling look at how heroes can fall from grace and why we are willing to turn a blind eye to even the most heinous of crimes. So yeah, that sounds kind of cool. And there's an extra little book in here that I wasn't expecting. So it says Dear Laura and it's a Bram Stoker Award nominee by Gemma Amor. And this the back of this one, it says don't trust a word he says. Every year on her birthday, Laura gets a letter from a stranger. That stranger claims to know the whereabouts of her missing friend Bobby, but there's a catch. He'll only tell her what he knows in exchange for something personal. So begins Laura's sordid relationship with her new pen pal, built on a foundation of quid pro quo. Her quest for closure will push her to bizarre acts of humiliation and harm, yet no matter how hard she tries, she cannot escape her correspondent's demands. The letters keep coming, and as time passes, they have a profound effect on Laura. From the author of Cruel Works of Nature comes a dark and twisted tale about obsession, guilt, and how far a person will go to put her ghosts to bed. So yeah, that's cool. And let me check, there's nothing else in here before I get to the second hand one. So there is the spoiler sheet. So I won't look at that yet. And as I say, with the um, second hand one, we've got a couple of bookmarks here. And there's there's like a, a story on the back of the bookmarks as well, but I won't read that all out just now. I just wanna get, find out what second hand book I've got. So here we go, and there's the wax stamp as well there, which I think is awesome. So let's just unwrap this. The and the um, unboxings I watched of last month's one, quite a lot of people, including me, got quite a big, thick, chunky um, second hand book. So I'm interested to see what this one is. It says it is Damon. Never heard of it, but that is the book. It looks kind of creepy. Um, it says, The Exorcist contains its fair share of shocks, supernatural and sexual. Damon, is it Damon? Damon? Oh, it does it, apparently. By C. Terry Klein. Um, a four-year-old boy with the mind of a genius and the body of a man. His motivation twisted, his sexual desires demanding satisfaction. The breathtaking story of a boy tormented by a mysterious second self. Ooh, that sounds kind of creepy. So yes, that is the, the second hand one and that is everything in the bag. So we got Deity by Matt Weslowski and apparently in somewhere there's a, oh there we go, there's a signed book plate. So that's in there and the Laura one has a signed book plate as well. I did, I do remember reading something about this in one of their emails saying that they were doing two signed book plates, but I didn't want any spoilers, so I didn't read anything else about it. But yeah, that's why we ended up with two newer books. So these are the 
the, the main new ones and this is the second hand one. It does look a bit more bashed up than the other one I got but then the other one I got wasn't that old whereas I think this is probably, it doesn't look, uh, let me see, yeah 1975 by the looks of it for this one. So yeah it's a bit worn but again it's not in bad condition it's just the pages are a bit a bit worn and um, like yellowing. But it looks good, it will be fine, I can't wait to read it. So that is my Abominable Book Club unboxing. So I'm keeping this one going, um, my birthday is next month so I will definitely be getting the April one. And then I'll see from there because I literally don't have any room for any of these books. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see from there. But yeah, that's it for this one guys, so comment below, give it a like, share it with your friends and I will catch you next time. Bye!